All right, so here we have it, our pork butt. Uh, we've I pulled it out. Um, it's been in there for roughly eight and a half hours now. About eight and a half hours. Um, feels like it's going to be done. Um, the way that I check it is just with a thermometer here. Um, not using it for temp, using it to feel for texture and softness. So really you just kind of take it, go into the top, just kind of poke it down in. And what you want to feel for is just feel and check and see if it feels like like you're sticking into a bag of soft or melted butter. And you know, right there is a bone so you can't go all the way in. but and, and it's less on the inward, but more on the outward. You want to feel, see if there's any resistance when you're sliding in and out. And go all the different directions. So this one mostly feels pretty good. Feels like it's done. So right here, it's a little bit of resistance when I pull back out. Um, but not a ton. So something like that, it'll cook itself out just while it's resting. If it's just like a little section there that has a little bit of resistance, then it's probably okay. Um, this is how I check all of my pork butts. Um, I never go off of time, never really go off of temperature. I go off of how it feels with the thermometer. Um, for reference, for anybody that's wondering, this one did temp at 203 when I pulled it off to check it, um, and it feels good. But honestly, I've pulled pork. I've, I've had pull, pork um, test as being good to go anywhere from 200 degrees to 203 degrees. Um, so it's really hard to say. You know, there really is no specific time of when it's done. You just have to really pull it out and and you ch and you check it like this. If you have a cooker big enough with a big enough ceiling, and you can fit this in. And you can kind of poke around and check while it's still on the cooker if you want to. Um, but this one feels done. This one's ready to rest. I'm going to go ahead and rest it. Typically, I'll let them rest for at least 45 minutes to an hour on a pork butt um, at minimum. But typically, I'll go as long as I possibly can, hours at a time if possible. Um, as long as it doesn't fall below that 140 degree range, like you're really okay from a food safety standpoint. But really, you could probably go lower than that if you really wanted to. Um, but anyways, you know, one thing too, to remind you is, you know, 203 is really the maximum temperature that I would ever let this thing go to. With my elevation, 204 degree, 204 degrees being the boiling point of water, I don't ever want to hit that point because I do not want um, the water to start evaporating inside the meat. I do not want to dry it out. So 203 is, is my max. But again, we're not basing it, done this off of temperature, we're basing it off of feel, the feel from the probe. And you don't have to use, you know, a thermometer. I use the thermometer because it's long and it's slender and it's easy. Anything that you've got that you can stick, stick in there to kind of poke it around, that's, that'll work. All right, so here it is. Pork butt is, is rested. It's been resting for quite a long while now. So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it and start uh, shredding it and test it to see just how tender it really is. Um, some things I forgot to mention, you know, while we were cooking this thing, um, the temperature... Again, we started around 275 and when we first threw it on, and honestly, by the time this thing was done, um, we were actually up to about um, 300 degrees at one point, um, getting it through the stall, especially once it's wrapped. Um, but this is something that you can do, and I know that it, a lot of people think it's crazy that you can do things that hot, but it doesn't always have to be just this low, slow, forever cook. You can still cook things at a lower temp and still but still cook it faster and a little bit hotter and get it done quicker and just get the same result as long as you get to that same temperature or the same doneness again we don't use temperature to determine when it's done but we use the the probe let me give you an idea you know the other pork butt that i did that one temped out a 202 when it was done uh, but here we have it here's our pork butt you can see that bark looks super super nice um i'm gonna go ahead and just get this pork butt out and we can even pull the bone out here's our here's our real test um, clean bone clean shoulder blade nothing on it totally pulled everything off pork is done pork is tender even though we cooked it a little bit hotter a little bit faster than most people would agree that we should so I'll try and get this a little bit closer if I can so you guys can see it um, everything just looks super great on it. Really happy with this. Lots of juices in here. It's going to come out. Got it all over the table. Okay. 
hoping to get the coil out. Um, yeah, it's already falling apart all, all on its own. And what I use is just tong these tongs like this here, and you just kind of go in and just start shredding it apart, pulling it apart with tongs. Sometimes you'll find some larger pieces of, of fat um, that you can pull out. Sometimes they're not always in there. Sometimes it renders really well. Oh man, there's just tons of juices in here. This thing is super moist, super easy to shred, super easy to pull apart. Um, I can already tell it's going to be fantastic. And again, as we kind of break this up and break this down, um, shred all that bark up, all those seasonings are going to fall into the meat um, to really help season it, really help, help it taste good, help it taste great. Um, this thing is still has some heat in it, even though it's been sitting for hours and we let it cool down to about 140. Um, just super great. You know, the foil really helps it to retain that, that moisture and that heat and everything else. And plus, you know, when it's cold out, that also helps with the steam as well. But anyways, you know, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. And there's going to be many, many, many more to come. Different videos that we're going to show, different techniques, different uh, meats, um, different ways of doing things. And really helped you guys to... Hopefully enjoy my passion that I've been able to enjoy and, and help spread it with others. Um, so just please support us. For me, I'm in my endeavor and I promise I'll continue to deliver content because this is what I love and this is what um, I want to do. So till next time, I'm um, in happy cooking. <laughs>